What's up, fans? It's KP. I am styling at Star Wars Celebration 5. And you know, it's one thing to watch the movie. It is quite another thing to pretend you're in it. And to do so, you got to have the toys. I'm with Chad, who is a senior brand manager for Star Wars for Hasbro. How are you, Chad? I'm doing great. Love your toys, man. I like it. I like it. I, I got to say the same. Love them, too. No, no. We've walked past this display time after time, and I'm like, I got to get me a lightsaber. So, you know, I love these things. What kind of reaction are you getting just from the lightsaber? Oh man, fans love this. You know, these, these lightsabers are the best around. Kids, you know, ad adult fans, everybody just they, they can't wait to get their hands on them. We were walking around with them, you know, they immediately say, you know, just, just let me hold it, just let me play with it. it, it well, you know, it's funny too, because you know they, they they weigh quite a lot more than I would have anticipated, and there's something about just going <laughs> that's it's just like the movies. Oh, it's awesome. It, it really is. It, it's a replica of the movie uh, lightsaber. So it, it's one of those things that you, know, you just can't wait to grab and feel it in your hand and you feel like a Jedi. Now this model is Vader's, correct? This model is Vader's and it's uh, it's a removable blade saber. So you can actually, uh, by unscrewing a couple of these parts, you can actually remove the blade, take it out, and use it as a prop replica on any kind of costuming you have as well. Now the model you have is new, right? It is, brand new. It's a General Grievous lightsaber. Uh, very interesting. Uh, your kids are now able to battle just like General Grievous. So his signature is spinning. You just grip it right here, and you can go ahead, and you can give it a nice spin. Very easy for kids to do, and you know, just like General Grievous, they're going to love it. Once these light up, they actually make little sounds too. You can't really hear it all that well uh, on the, on the mic, well, right? But that really adds to the action, doesn't it? Yeah, you get the you know kind of the ignition sound. Whenever you actually battle with these sabers, you also get kind of a clashing sound as well. Right. So you know you get a little kind of. <laughs> you guys want one of these? What else do you have here? Uh, we have all kinds of stuff here for uh, for our Star Wars fans. Uh, one of the really big things for us this year is our brand new Adat. -Ad. So you see back here in the case, you actually have uh, the brand new Adat, over two feet tall, uh, kind of all the bells and whistles of things that you had as a kid, only blown up and magnified now. The detailing all this is incredible. The articulation in all of our stuff has just been getting better and better and better. Um, and so it's something that our kids and fans are really excited about. That's a prereq for a lot of these fans because, you know, we've seen some things that are more detailed than others. There, there's varying scales and different toys, but as far as our figures go, we are very, very screen accurate. Now, you have one of your sculptors here today, don't you? We absolutely do. Dave Venemeyer is here, and he's uh, demonstrating how he actually goes about uh, taking these, uh, you know, characters you see on the screen and making them an action figure. Um, it's probably like, I mean, the figure costs Dave is actually showing how he would take a regular start of uh, kind of uh, roughly what, what a character would look like and mold it out of wax um, to show how we'd initially get the first stages of an action figure. So fans actually get to see uh, from the very beginning the materials that are used, the process for putting them together, and actually ask Dave some questions about what he's doing. Oh yeah, and a lot of fans, they really want to know, you know, why did you sculpt you know, Obi's one leg a certain way, or why did you do this a certain way with uh, you know, Anakin's head? So, you know, he's here. He's the man that's done it. They can ask him, they can talk him through it. To develop like a figure from scratch through any production? This right here behind us, right here, we have the new um, Boba Fett Slave One. Amazing, amazing ship. One of those things that fans, uh, collectors, are really, really jazzed about. We had a panel yesterday. Everybody, the minute that went up, they're hooting and hollering. Uh, they want to see it. Great detail work in there. I'm sure Danny Logan's a big fan of that. Uh, of course, of course. <laughs> You've actually got kind of, we're, we're on the Empire Strikes Back 30th anniversary, so you've got all the Hoth battle scenes. Um, so you have, if you really want to be able to, as we just saw in this diorama, create your own, you have the tools now to be able to do that with our toys. Because a lot of that work in the past, uh, it was dependent upon the fan skill set, right, for a lot of those environments and, and, put, and filling in those missing pieces that weren't available to them. Absolutely, that's something that we've gone back and said, you know what, to be able to, you know, be able to create these scenes that fans want to create, we're going to make the toys to be able to fill them out and as accurate as possible. So these are our vintage uh, cards right here, so you can see the actual card styling is just like you would have seen um, if you would have bought these originally. Uh, we actually, just so the fans can see what it really means, we have the brand new ones that we're launching here, and over here, we actually have the old vintage cards. So we went to our archives, pulled out the vintage cards. So you can see these are exactly the same look as you have now with the new figures. Obviously our figures have gotten a little bit better than you see in the old stuff, uh, but, uh, but the same kind of look and feel. 
the Millennium Falcon has been uh, on our radar as one of the toys to get. How's that moving here? It's doing great. I mean, we, we brought some in, and it actually sold out all in the first day. Gone. Um, so just amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty impressive. That is, that is sharp. This is our uh, flying maestro extraordinaire. Who doesn't want to have the ability to control the Millennium Falcon? Everybody wants the Millennium Falcon. Well, you know, that's great to be able to fly around. Tell me about the big one hovering up above us here. Yeah, no, this big one was actually a replica that we made. So it's not a toy that we sold, um, but a replica that we made to really be able to jazz people up. You know, we want people to see, you know what? That's the Millennium Falcon. That's the scale. And now I take it down to a size that I can actually uh, be able to fly around myself with the new RC vehicle. As you guys saw, you know, we had the General Grievous lightsaber. We had the Force FX sabers that you were actually looking at up, up front there. That, yeah, I'm going home with one. Be able to have something to experience what you had as a kid and bring it to your kids. Uh, even the Star Wars brand is magical in that way. More to come from Star Wars Celebration 5 in Orlando. I'm KP. I am Stylin. Stylinonline.com. I'm from Star Wars. Don't, don't shake your head. We're battling. More to come from... More to come... got uh, for some of our accounts. Um, if you want to come on over here... Um, we do. You know what? We have our vintage characters. So if you want to come in here... For kids and, you know, and fans alike. Quite a lot of offerings for, uh, for fans and, and even big fans, uh, big kids like myself. Star Galactica. Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Serenity. What was that? Uh, Highlander. The Empire Strikes Back. Doctor Who. Star Trek The Next Generation was my favorite. <laughs> Scooby-Doo. Well, at the moment, it would be True Blood. True Blood. True Blood. I have to say True Blood, too. she -Ra. Doctor Who. The Star Wars, Episode 4. Firefly, without a doubt. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Joker, obviously. Family Guy. <laughs> Good choice.